Hey guys, welcome back! This week we'll be taking a glimpse at my pickups from the last 60 days. Come on! So let's start with the Xbox 360 and with Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition that has uh, all four mission expansion add-on packs. These Fallout games are superb, magnificent. So next up, Spec Ops The Line. This game, I believe that it's an even gem on the Xbox 360. I've enjoyed a lot. So next up, Medal of Honor Warfighter. It's one more Medal of Honor game. Did not enjoy it? And to finish the Xbox 360 games, Batman Arkham City with this cover that has a kind of a 3D effect or holographic effect, I don't know. It's just awesome. So, let's continue to PC stuff with two big box pickups. And the first one is the Rally Championship pack that includes the three games from the Network Q-Rack Rally franchise, uh, originally from Europress Software and now published by Magnetic Fields. Um, these games are awesome. They were really great stuff when they came out. Uh, probably the best rally games on the PC from that era. Just before Colin McRae Rally appeared. So, and the second big box that I've picked up for the PC is a piece of history. It's Microsoft Windows 95, uh, the disc, the floppy disk edition with a bunch of them. It's filled with 3.5 inch discs. So next up, just one game for the PS2. What do you know? And that's Downhill Domination, one of the best games that I've played on the PS2. And this is an exclusive... Uh, uh, no, uh, exclusive? PS2 exclusive. I have to check. an exclusive. Uh, such a great game. Now moving on to the original Xbox. I picked up some games quite cheap, about two euros each. And let's start with Spider-Man 2. It's a nice game. I prefer the movie. <laughs> um, but it's a good game. Now next one. Enter the Matrix. Uh, it's a really bad game, never enjoyed it, but yeah, why not, for 2 euros. So next up, an astonishing game, Time Splitters 2, fantastic, just amazing graphics and uh, everything is great in this game. Next up, a uh, Medal of Honor game, European Assault didn't like this game, but once again 40 euros, why not? So next game for the Xbox, um, another combat war game, first person shooter, I don't know, never played it. Uh, first to fight, United States Marines, close combat, ring a bell? Not to me. Next up, a game f based, maybe, on a movie, I don't know, Die Hard, Vendetta, how do you say this in English, Vendetta, I don't know, don't know if this game is good, never played it, so next up for the Xbox, another war game, from Codemasters, and that's for 2 euros I couldn't pass this out. 
World War II, Prisoner of War. I don't know if this game is good. Uh, but it's from Codemasters. Now comes the original Xbox version of Richard Burns Rally that I didn't have on my collection. I have on the PC and on the PlayStation 2. It's the, the most awesome and realistic um, rally simulation ever created. And on the PC it's just amazing. We have new tracks and championships every day. It's just awesome. Next up for the Xbox, Hulk, based on the first, first recent movie uh, from this Marvel hero. Um, I never played this game. Don't know if it's good or not. Uh, I liked the, the the movie. The movie was pretty nice. Another game based on a movie that I don't know anything about is Bad Boys 2. Have you played this game? The movie is quite enjoyable. Don't know anything about the game. So next up, a James Cameron game? What the hell? Dark Angel. Again, I don't know anything about from Sierra. Sierra published it. What do you know? A, a James Cameron game? It looks interesting. I don't know. Now, an awesome game for the Xbox Battlefield 2 Modern Combat. This is an awesome addition to my collection and uh, to the Xbox library. Just awesome stuff. Now, a jet ski game that I don't know anything about is Carve. Uh, I enjoy a lot the, the splashdown game from Rainbow Studios but this one mm, I don't know. Now a game that tells something to all Portuguese people the UEFA Euro 2004 Portugal. Um, this game, it's enjoyable. It's, it's a FIFA game, you know. But based on the European Championship from 2004, that was organized in Portugal. Now another game based on a movie. It's Peter Jackson's King Kong. Uh, the official game of the movie. Um, um, I've played this on the PC back when it was out. And I believe that I've played uh, 10 minutes and uninstalled it. And to finish the original Xbox games, uh, I've picked up also for 2 euros Mission Impossible Operation Surma. I don't know anything about the game, but it looks quite enjoyable. So I will try it later. As for the games, we're almost uh, finished. In the last uh, 60 days, I've picked up also a console, a Dreamcast, it's a bit yellow, but it works quite nice, and it came with three controllers, uh, three controllers, and also the keyboard, and uh, it was, all of this was 30 euros, and also came with, with some games but without the boxes and the manuals. So I've put them uh, in a jewel case, a CD jewel case, and the games are uh, Sonic Adventure, uh, Snow Surfers, A Toy Story 2 
the House of the Dead 2. A Sega Rally 2. Some stuff, Dream Key version 2 and Dream On Volume 1. All this was 30 euros. Uh, I think it was a great deal. So, the next item I have to thank Ricard Saraiva. He was the responsible for this uh, group buy, uh, and it's, a, it's an Amiga mouse, an Amiga Technologies mouse, signed by. Petro Tishchenko, that was the former uh, CEO of Omega Technologies and was the last uh, CEO of anything Omega, you know. And it's an awesome addition to my Omega family um, stuff uh, and signed it as another meaning. And uh, with the help of Stephen Falcon, a user uh, of the Retromania.pt forum, um, I was able to get my hands on the Amiga book um, from from the same guys that every month uh, bring, bring that awesome uh, Retro Gamer magazine. Again, I have to thank Ricardo Saraiva to send me a ZX Spectrum PSU uh, unit that my, my original one um, died out. So, thanks Ricardo. I've also picked up a ZX Spectrum RGB cable uh, to enhance the image and it also passes the audio through the same cable, it's quite nice. And to finish this pickups video, I've picked one more thing uh, for my uh, racing games, and that's a Logitech Driving Force GT. Uh, that it's a pretty decent uh, wheel and pedals to enjoy some driving games. I really recommend this item. So, guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next week. Hey! And if you enjoyed this video, please check these and all the others available on my channel. Thanks for subscribing and for watching and I'll see you all next week. And this uh, cat girl is... Uh, well... Hmm.